My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a real 1936 Ford. It's a Henry Ford steel body, fiberglass fenders. This is just a nice looking street ride that you can get in and drive. Got a 350 motor, automatic, really well done interior. <clears throat> you can go to volocars.com as you can read all the specs, study pictures top to bottom. And uh, that's where you'll find the price of this car. Not only this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. So visit volocars.com. If you like watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. The 36 Ford. Yeah, overall impression, it's sharp. It's got a stance. It's got colors and wheels. Like I said, nice interior. It's comfy. There's a lot of room. You got a big trunk. Uh, you and another person go away for the weekend, whatever it may be. So it's a, a great looking driver. Uh, it's going to turn heads. You can participate in any car show and be proud, but it's not one of those $100,000 uh, you know, trailer cars. Uh, so that's why I said get out and enjoy this one. Uh, underneath the car, uh, the floors look to be all good, solid metal. Uh, the floors and chassis are all painted uh, semi-gloss or gloss black. Up front, it's been upgraded with a Mustang II. Uh, front end, all independent suspension with tubular control arms, coil over shocks, rack and pinion steering. In back, it has the four link system with tubular control arms and uh, adjustable coil over gas shocks in the back. It's got a nice new dual exhaust system with a cherry bomb style muffler. We'll start it in a minute. You'll hear how that sounds. Uh, you look up at the 350 motor, the oil pan's clean, the motor's clean, the starter's clean, has the flywheel cover. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic, has a nice uh, pan with real nice uh, hardware holding the pan in. Uh, it's got an external oil cooler. Uh, in back, it's a Ford 8-inch rear end. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum in the back. So real respectable, straightforward uh, underneath. The body, again, the fit and finish is not uh, amazing, but it's very nice. Uh, the, the car shows really well. The body's from Texas. It's all metal. It does have four fiberglass fenders. They're straight. They're sharp. There's no issues. You wouldn't even know unless you put a magnet on them. Uh, starting up at the top, they come with this vinyl insert. It was less money than making an all-metal roof back then. That's why they have the inserts. This one looks to be in really good shape. Smoked glass all the way around. The windshield was just replaced. The windshield actually cranks out, and the rear window cranks down. You got the rear tire. There's a lot of original features, which I personally like. The original style tail lights, bumpers, uh, spare tire. The handles, no remote poppers. The mirrors, got the original headlights with the glass lenses, has the V8 hood ornament. I like all that stuff. The color is beautiful. It's a, a black cherry from the stripe down. There's like a, a bubble there. Uh, just the finish isn't, there's nothing wrong. It's not damaged or cracking or anything like that. It's just not pristine. Uh, silver metallic on the top, red pinstripe breaking it up. The wheels are new, 15 inch chrome wheels with hand cooked tires. Obviously they're fatter and wider in back, helps give it that stance. Yeah, I like all this original stuff up here, it's cool. We're gonna open the hood. 350 Chevy motor. Edelbrock intake and carb, nice looking finned aluminum valve covers and air cleaner. The alternator and bracket are chrome. Uh, big radiator has an electric fan in back and it still has the fan on the engine. All new steering linkage. Oh, inside, really nice interior, I like this. This is professionally done. 
The seat must have been rebuilt because it's all nice and tight and firm. And the upholstery work is done really well. He said it's leather. I don't know if it's leather or really good, uh, high quality uh, vinyl that looks like leather. But, but yeah, professional did all the upholstery and the carpet. Uh, carpet is matching mats, it all has bound edges. That's done really, really well. Inside the trunk, it's huge. Like it goes way up in there, almost looks like you can sleep in there. And it's all carpeted as well. Got a stereo hidden in the dash, which by the way, the whole dash is chromed. All the window frames are chromed, the dash is chrome. It has the original speedometer and gauges. Then also has gauge cluster mounted down below the dash. Beautiful spoked steering wheel with a polished wood rim. It's on a chrome uh, tilt column. The levers are all matching. Has the shift indicator. Has some nice pedals down on the floor. Has an interior light. The whole headliner, visors, it's all in a red like velour. Uh, it's all redone real nicely. Like I said, you can crank out the windshield. The wiper is new. I was told you can open both sides of the hood at one time. I was advised to open one at, at a time so it doesn't fall off. So this side of the motor it has chrome covers over the exhaust manifolds, uh, it has a fuel regulator, it has a real nice uh, flexible uh, dipstick for the trans. <clears throat> uh, polished uh, overflow bottle tube for the radiator. So why don't we fire it up now? So very comfortable. I'm six foot. I fit in here real nice. I could see driving this all day. <coughs> Excuse me. It runs fine. Runs nice. All new wiring, I'm looking under the dash as a modern fuse block with the push-in fuses. The handles and cranks, that's all been replaced. Yeah, it runs nice. Good old reliable 350 Chevy. Real nice car, good looking. Everything about it is good looking. The stance, the body style, the interior, the colors, the wheels. Great driving hot rod that you're going to get a lot of compliments on. I forgot to mention the running boards too. They're not painted. They actually have the ribbed rubber on them. You can step on them and you don't have to worry about it. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, please ask them. They will help the best they can. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.